Hi Aries, welcome to your monthly messages from Spirit Reading for March 2022. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Aries. This will not resonate with every Aries that watches this message, and because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you, so please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Aries, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, Cross Watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in Aries. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Aries and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles, if that resonates with your specific situation the best. So, my intentions for this reading, Aries, is to channel and provide messages from Spirit for you for the month of March to ask what will be happening, what should you prepare for, and this can impact any aspect of your life, love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution, Whatever spirit would like to bring forth shall be said. If you have any beings of the light that you would like to welcome into this space, specific angels, ancestors, spirit guides, even pass on loved ones, you are welcome to ask them to join us now. So let's go ahead and get this reading started. I will be using my sample to clear and set the energy. So if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume is kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this going. Um, one thing I heard very strongly, very clearly, is that you're on your way. So you're on your way to your fulfillment, you're on your way to your goal, and maybe recent events have made you guys wonder if you are on the right path or if you are headed in the right direction. And some spirit guide, angel ancestor of yours came through to say, yeah, you are. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say for my Aries. Um, let's see, some of you could be driving somewhere in March, like a little bit of a road trip, a little bit of a destination drive. You could be driving while you're listening to this, I don't know. But let's see, tell me what's happening for my Aries in March. And for any Aries who are born in the month of March, I wish you a happy, happy birthday. One full of luck, prosperity, a year of guidance, of love, and happiness. Happy birthday, Aries. Let's see. Tell me about March for Aries. Okay, so behind a mask. All right, and I can see why you may be kind of wondering, kind of guessing, kind of thinking if this is the right pursuit, maybe even the right person. I feel there's someone around you who is not revealing their true feelings, who's not revealing their true intentions. I feel that this is someone you do have feelings for, whether that is romantic or on a friendship level. But Aries, maybe something has not been fully revealed to you yet. Is it the right time? Someone around you is feeling a little bit shy, a little bit unsure if they can fully reveal themselves to you. Whereas Aries, you're like, just tell me. <laughs> tell me so I can get a better understanding. Tell me if I need to wait. Tell me if I should move on. But I feel for someone out there, you are headed in the right direction or this person you're feeling about is something that is positive, but something is not fully ready to be ripe yet. And I know that's not what everyone loves to hear, but it's what Spirit's kind of saying is that there's something that hasn't been revealed for a reason. Not because it's not meant for you, not because you suck at it, not because, you know, anything is preventing it, but it's just not the right time yet. And I feel here that someone maybe, if that's not so much the case, is 
worried if they can fully pursue what it is they've always wanted to pursue or if they can if someone's worrying if they should reveal a plan or reveal a feelings i would say right now to hold it back just a little bit longer and observe analyze before you kind of make a declaration before you kind of show what it is that you're going towards i kind of feel that there's something still that is yet to be shown but needs a little bit more time this doesn't feel like, you know, a snaky person. I feel you guys have already confronted those people and you know who they are. I don't think they're hidden from you. This feels more about someone who, if this is a person in your life, they're a little bit nervous around you. They get shy around you. You bring up feelings within them that are new, that they're not used to, or that you know, they just wonder if you feel the same way. And this person is not as direct as you, Aries. This person likes to sidestep. This person likes to make sure all the T's are crossed, all the I's are dotted before they fully show their true selves. And, you know, the initials T or I could mean something to someone, first, middle, last initial. It does not have to be the case. But yeah, Aries, I, I can see why some of you are kind of guessing or doubting even for some of you. There is someone who's not showing everything. There is something in your life that is yet to be revealed. But I think spirit is saying, despite it all, you're still on the right path. You're still moving forward and you're being drawn to something that is meant for you. So let's get deeper into this. I wanna know more. And also for someone out there, who may feel like they're hiding themselves, hiding their true desires around family members or people. Um, I want to ask you why you may take other people's opinions about you more into consideration than what you want to reveal for yourself. I wonder if someone has grown up in a family that is very strict, that is maybe even orthodox in some ways, very culturally stern, and that's why they can't feel like they can be themselves. But I feel for some of you who are feeling that way, hiding something about yourself, I think that part of yourself you're hiding is what is meant to give you good fortune, good experiences, success and finances. So there's no reason to hide that part of yourself if you guys are feeling a certain way. And that part of yourself is a gift, not a curse. Even if other people have made you feel that way, whoever that's for. Let's keep going. Tell me more about March for Aries. Let's see if we can narrow this down to a person or a situation in your life. Tell me more. Okay, whew, two cards for my Aries. Okay, the number two could mean something to someone. Stuck out to me very strongly. Um, your birthday could be April 2nd. April 12th, April 22nd. Ooh, wow. Yeah, okay. So what it says is the oracle. Look at all the ancient Egyptian symbology. I feel some of you do have ancient ancestors or ancient spirit guides, deities, whether they are Egyptian, whether they are like Mesopotamian, um, Polynesian, Celtic Druids. Like you guys have that power and that energy around you, especially Egyptian. Um, but it says, seek wisdom and guidance from elders. Okay. So some of you, you know, if you don't, again, if you have that family that is super strict, I feel there's almost like grandparents that you can trust or a grandparent that was always someone that was for you, always liked you, made you feel special, made you feel, you know, very loved. Whether you have them in this lifetime right now, they're still alive, or they've even passed on. If they have passed on, they have become a spirit guide. And part of their greatness is that they didn't conform, per se, even if they grew up in a society or a timeline, a time frame that was very strict. Um, they had a special magic about them. And I feel you saying that you you inherited that same energy, that same magic, that same specialness within you, Aries, especially for those of you that feel that's the thing you need to hide. Absolutely not. So when seek wisdom from and guidance from elders, if you do have, you know, that 
grandfather, grandmother, or someone kind of like that in your life that is older and wise, I think that if you were to kind of reveal something to them specifically, ask them for guidance and advice, those are the people to go to. And if those of you who, again, don't feel that you have that support in the 3D, connect with your spirit guides. Your spirit guides are very, very much with you. And I feel that they have something to say to you that is going to give you clarity, even more so than what you see in the 3D around you. You're not getting the messages from other people. You're not getting the confirmations from people in the 3D. But if you start to pull cards, if you start to meditate, if you start to tune in, I think you're going to get a lot more information from your spirit guides and ancestors than anyone here in the 3D, from your own intuition even. Um, you know, the eye of Horus is here. So some of you relate to the god Horus's mythology. If you don't know it, I suggest looking up. Um, there could be a lot of resonance there with Horus's story, but um, it's related to moon energy, so psychic energy, intuitive energy. Um, and it's also a symbol of protection. So I want to say, Aries, first of all, you need to know you're protected. You're protected very strongly by your ancestors, by your spirit guides. And what has not been revealed has not been revealed for a reason. And if there has been anything that, you know, kind of fizzled out, died out, that you still kind of are bummed about or you blame yourself for, it wasn't meant to be for you. There's something so much better. And maybe some of you are still kind of struggling to see the other side there. But... Again, I feel some of you may start to go to a psychic, a tarot reader, start looking up tarot readings to kind of decipher certain messages. And if that's the case, like you've been drawn to this reading, go to the titles that really stick with you, that have a strong resonance with you. And listen to those words that the tarot reader, the psychic says, and anything that you know resonates deeply in your heart chakra, your solar plexus, or your sacral chakra is a message for you. But I think that a lot of you already are gifted in this way. And your intuition that's telling you there's more to the story is absolutely right. And from what you can't see in evidence in the 3D, start to decipher through your own third eye visions, through your own feelings about the situation, because that's going to give you more guidance than anything right now that is being shown to you in the 3D in March. But that doesn't mean to give up by any means, because now we have earth energy. So some of you could have earth in your big three, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could be dealing with an earth sign romantically or in a platonic way. And it says utilize logic, reason, and common sense. Yeah, so what this is kind of telling me, and even the combination of these two, Aries, is that don't let fear override reason. You know, if you don't see evidence of something yet, doesn't mean it's not meant for you. Or if you are seeing evidence of someone who has been backing out, who has been shy, who has not been bringing forward what you've been waiting to see, um, you know, I don't think you have to start beating yourself up over it or to get angry about it. I think a lot of you already know that if there's this strong of a pull towards this person, that there is something to be gain from this and with logic and reason I feel don't get too lost in the what ifs the could be's the should be's don't try to force the situation don't try to force an outcome because maybe that outcome that you envision so much isn't exactly what is best for you and I think that you need to surrender to the process surrendering to the process will help you see things a lot more clearly if it's meant to be, it shall be, and nothing can stop it. In its right time, it will be shown in perfect divine divinity here. And I think along the way, you will be sent confirmation. You will be sent messages. You will be sent synchronicities, whether that's through numbers, animals, um, things you hear that just feel so strong to you, right? Those types of messages you should look out for. But, yeah, I think with this earth energy here specifically... Um, there is more to this than you're seeing right now. 
and the evidence is going to come up in its right time. Maybe even end of March, you're going to see why. I feel that more strongly than the beginning or middle of March. So let's get another card. Tell me more about this. What's happening in March for Aries? And maybe some of you are afraid of your psychic abilities or your intuitive gifts or would be judged by that, especially if you came from like a religious background, um, you know, a strict background. Uh, but it is a gift that you have. Or even being drawn to like metaphysical psychic tarot readings, you kind of judge yourself for at times, maybe because that's the judgments you heard early on in life. You shouldn't. Tell me more about this energy surrounding Aries spirit. Here we go. Faith. Wow. Ooh, I kind of got chills there. Like talking about that grandparent, maybe for some of you, specifically like a grandmother. You have like a grandmother energy watching over you or a grandmother deity. Um, you know, stuff like Baba Yaga, uh, Mother Gaia, um, you know, ancient old energies wise energies maybe even ancestors that aren't you know maybe super direct but from times ago crone energy here and it says believe you are not alone spirit is right beside you ask for guidance and it will come so during those times that you're feeling really frustrated that you know you're not seeing evidence you're not seeing the good coming your way you're not sure Ask spirit. You have that power to do so and spirit will respond. And it may not respond in that full upcoming forward of that new beginning, that big break, but it will respond in a way that it will be so personalized for you. It will feel, you know, through whatever you see through the symbols that you can have faith. You should have faith. And you have a whole spirit team that works for you. And they're working in the background here. And, you know, I have a story that I like to share about when at the very beginning of a career that I came out of college of, you know, I thought this one company I wanted to be with so badly. They had all these reviews. They had all this great, you know, their website was flashy and everything. And I said, yeah, this is so for me. And I didn't get it. And I was just so devastated. I was so upset. I was just wondering why spirit would lead me there, or what I thought spirit was doing, lead me there for me to just get rejected. It wasn't until months later, I heard about what was really going on in that company. Shady people, people who were so unhappy with the work culture, people who were quitting left and right, but they were doing a good job covering it up. You know, I, I, it wasn't until later that I was like, wow, you know, it's a blessing in disguise that that didn't happen, that I didn't waste my time and go down a road of another lesson that I would have to learn. Spirit closed that door so I wouldn't have to experience that. And that's what kind of gave me faith in realizing that I don't have all the answers and that's okay. That as long as I have faith in myself, as long as I have my spirit guides with me, I co-create with spirit. Anything that is meant to be will happen. And that's all I need to know. And in the meantime, I can strategize. I can plan. I can make the moves to make sp meet spirit halfway. But I do feel with a certain relationship, especially someone who has been a little bit pulling back or reserved, I don't think, again, I'm just coming through to say this to someone that it's necessarily a bad thing. I think they're just still trying to figure it out, still trying to, I don't know, there could be trust issues this person has that has nothing to do with you, but it's with the experiences they went through before. So they're taking things slowly. Um, you know, and I'm not talking about someone who's ghosted you, who time and time again treats you like crap. That's not who I'm talking about. And I'm sorry if that's a message for someone out there to know it's not for them but with this energy here spirit is letting you know that they are sending help they are sending the right people to come your way 
the right situations, make sure they're all in line so you can get the greater good out of it. So don't be discouraged. Don't feel pushed down. Even if rejections happen, even if silence happens and you're in a space of stagnation, it is happening for a reason. And in that time, use it to grow, to learn, to observe. And then when the time is ripe, the time is ripe, you will make the best decision for yourself and this will be in the highest alignment to receive. No one wants bread that is halfway done out of the oven where it's all mushy inside. You want it in the right time. And even if this is something you've been waiting and waiting for, losing patience, don't lose patience. You know, the impatience, the need to control is what's going to lead you to having a bigger block in this and not receiving it in the right time and it for it to take longer in that. Wow. All right. So let's see what the tarot has to say. What is happening for Aries in March spirit? Ooh, nine of water. Wow. Pisces energy. Some of you could be Aries, Pisces, Cuspers. You could have Pisces in your chart. It does not have to be the case in order for this reading to resonate. And this is coming under behind a mask. Interesting. So again, if this is someone you're romantically involved with or beginning a relationship with as a friendship, they do see something so good within you that makes them so happy. They see you as a gem, as a rare find as a blessing even. But again, Aries, this person is very cautious. They almost don't want to think it's too good to be true. And others of you, what you're wishing for, what you're asking for, what you're praying for is going to come. It is almost there. You're at the nine of cups. This is before the 10 of cups for the completion of it, for all the blessings to come in. So spirit wants you to know it's on its way and they're working on it. They're removing the people that are just going to try to bring it down or make the process more difficult. They're, you know, speeding some timelines up so it could be aligned in the right way. But it's all happening. And what you want, what this has been that you've been keeping your eye towards is going to be yours. You will have it. You will have it all. But for now, you know, when we are in this period of impatience of annoyance of uh, frustration with spirit that's the time to have gratitude to look around and see what you do have what has come in what you have achieved everything that you have accumulated what you have grown from and reminding yourself of that and giving gratitude for those things is going to enhance and raise your frequency so you could be more in alignment with your heart's desire whatever is still in the creation of being manifested right so let's keep going. Tell me more. Ooh, oh, two cards. All right. So we have seven of water here. Yeah. So, you know, again, don't let the distractions get to you. I feel a lot of you have been going emotionally up and down and I get it. It's spicy season. Our emotions are being brought to the surface. And for some of you where it's more complicated emotions, um, they're being surfaced to recognize to recognize if there's truth behind it, if this is a belief about myself that I've held for too long, and whether or not I can use this emotion, this feeling of want, yearning, this impatience, can I use it to elevate me? And if not, I'll just have to be patient, but don't get distracted with the, you know, again, the what ifs, the could be's, the should be's. That's just clouding it all. That's clouding your vision. That's clouding your understanding. And be aware of those energies that surround you at this time. So Scorpio energy too coming here very strongly. Start to get grounded when you start to feel ungrounded, when you start to feel impatient or anxious about something. Go outside, take a breath, find a picnic bench, find a place to sit. If it's too cold outside, then just find a place in your house where you can just open the window, feel the air, and breathe. Get back to reality. Get back to the vision that you feel so strongly about. Then we have nine of pentacles. So two nines here. You could be seeing 999, April 9th, April 19th, March 29th could be your birthdays. But 
you guys are almost there. And this is Virgo energy coming through very strongly here. And this is coming under faith. So trust that you will have it all. Trust that you are on your way to achieving it, to your success, even for some of you to financial security, to have your own home, I'm kind of getting, especially if you live with roommates or you live with parents or you live with whoever that you're just trying to make it out on your own. Um, you will get there. For those of you who want to climb in your, you know, creative pursuits, your psychic pursuits, or just in your job already, you will get there. You will be recognized. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in yourself is what this combination is telling me. And then all the distractions, the illusions, the fears will go away. Because when you know your truth, your foundation can't be shaken. You're very, very close, Aries. And you're, you're like, I wouldn't be surprised if this was Aries season where your manifestation comes about, where the person who's been a bit shy reveals their feelings, where you get that payment that can take you to getting your own place or to having your more financial independence. Whatever this is that you've been asking for, waiting for patiently, Spirit's confirming you it's on its way. It's on its way. And in the meantime, trust in me. Trust in the experience, trust in the process and ground yourself so you won't become destabilized. So the block doesn't grow bigger. There is no block per se, but so there isn't a block that will prevent it from happening when the seven of cups kind of starts to create more smoke screens and more distractions that are not necessary in your life. All right, Aries. I mean, this is a powerful reading. And it's spirit's way of telling you we're on your side. We're cheering you on. Know what's happening. Be patient and you will be rewarded. So let's go ahead and wrap this reading up with one more card for my Aries in the month of March. Anything else that you want to know about this situation? You know what's interesting too? Nine of Pentacles, sorry. And this card here, both of these people are wearing masks. So, yeah, I feel that, again, for some of you where you feel there's a part of you you have to hide or a part of you you can't fully express, that's where your, again, your success and your independence and your financial um, securities are going to come through. And for others of you, this is the person you're dealing with. Possibly a Virgo doesn't have to be, but they are a little bit slow and steady wins the race. But once you win over their heart, you win over their trust, they will be yours. Maybe they're a little bit afraid of going into a commitment right now because they came out of a bad commitment or they've been alone for so long, you know, but I, I don't think that's going to last forever. This uncertainty, this doubt or caution. I think they're falling for you or they're starting to have a deep trust and friendship within you, Aries. So one more card. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Panty. With health. Nice. And it says, focus on all parts to make the whole beautiful. So for me, almost as if this is like emotional health, mental health. Prioritize that. Give yourself those breaks in March where you just need a day to yourself. Self-care, self-love. Take a day off. Relax. Do something that you love. Um, you know, put on your favorite movie. I mean, give yourself any sort of reassurance that everything is going to be okay. And then it will come into full bloom. It will blossom. And everything is just improving right now. You know, so don't let the seven of cups or the doubts or the fears or not seeing everything clearly try to damper on your mental health or your emotional health. Everything is increasing. Everything will get better. I promise you, Aries. And you're about to see this reward very, very soon. So thank you so much for joining me here, Aries. I really hope that this has resonated with you in some way. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Aries, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Aries. <laughs>